warm up with one of your finger exercises. And sometimes people will take me very seriously and, and do that. And that's wonderful. But you can end up spending 15, 20, 30 minutes of your practice time doing finger exercises. And then it's, it starts um, getting a bit laborious. So take one each day. Uh, if you do finger exercise number one today, then do number two tomorrow. And then number three, if you're just learning, stick with number one, all down picks until you can play number one. Actually, if you're really starting out, play number one with all down picks, then learn number two with all down picks, and then number three with all down picks. And then focus on getting alternating picks happening with your first one, then your second one, then your third one. Um, use a metronome, and I'm going to put a metronome on now. Uh, and I like to use uh, a metronome called Pro Metronome. And um, it looks like that once it gets opened. And uh, right now it's on 80 beats a minute, and it's at 4-4 four, four time. Click. playing quarter notes with all down picks. Now, it's really good to use a metronome. And notice I'm bouncing, I'm tapping my foot, and my shoulders are moving. Click, 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 click. Also, I want you to see my right hand. My The palm of my hand just rests right? It just like, just sits. Like if I were having a conversation and my amp were on, I didn't want it to feed back and I wanted to mute it. I literally keep my hand there uh, real often. My fingers planted. So I once I get off my sixth string, I start, or I'll have. I'm, I'm not trying to mess up. I, I, I don't have any eyesight once I stand on my tiptoes and try to stomp across the guitar. You know, I, I want to always cover myself. Obviously, when I'm playing my first string down here my finger falls off I'm sorry slide up a finger okay. turning your metronome on now I'm going to do a rhythm exercise because rhythm exercises and your finger exercises kind of go hand in hand one two three four I've got all my strings muted Now I'm going to start doing eighth notes, which is twice as fast, but really I'm playing double the notes. It's not twice the tempo. So instead of one, two, three, four, one and two and three and four and one, two, three, four. So with the metronome, one, two, three, four, one and two and three and four and Now, let me check something here. Okay. If you're a more advanced player or if this, you know, isn't a challenge, we can also do quarter notes, eighth notes, and sixteenth notes. So I'll I'll touch base with that here real quick. So one, two, three, four. Make sure that you settle into this. One, two. 
two, and make sure you fill it in your body. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Eighth notes again. One and two and three and four and one, two and three and four and one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now I'm going to go to 32nd notes. And that's 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 E and a, 4 E and a. So you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 E and a, 4 E and a. So I'm basically cutting a beat in half and then cutting it in four parts, you know, as I build on this. Um, so 1 or 1 and or 1 E and a, filling up the one beat, okay? So here's what that sounds like with the metronome. I'll just do the uh, 16th, 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 E and a, 4 E and a. So before you do that, uh, get into the groove of the quarter notes, 2, 3, 4, 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1, 2, now 16th. 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 E and a, 4 E and a, 1, 2, 3, 4. 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 E and a, 4 E and a, 1, 2, 3, 4. 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 E and a, 4 E and a, 1, 2, 3, 4. 1 E and a, 2 E and a, 3 E and a, 4 E and a, 1, 2, 3, 4. Quarters, 2, 3, eighths. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3. 16th, 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a 1, 2. Okay. I'm creating a pulse. So if you're going to 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 E and a 2 E and a 3 E and a 4 E and a 1. Now if you're going to be playing your finger exercises when you're learning. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. But once you start to get it, you can play um, eighth notes. One, and two, and three, and four. One, and two, and three, and four. And one, and two, and three, and four. One, and two, and three, and four. And you'd want to start doing this once you have your alternating picking. But I have a pulse. Uh, one. And I put that pulse as I change string. One. I can do 16th notes. So creating a pulse, once you, st once you start uh, playing 16th notes, da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-
one e and a two e and an e and a two. If you hold your pick real tight and do it like that, it's one. It's not going to sound good. Two. There's not going to be any fluidity. Uh, one e and so you want to just start off by this, just like one, two, three, four, one and two and three and four and one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and. Once you start doing that, make sure that you have the movement. Okay, um, then you have all three finger exercises. Um, da, 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 da. Creating a pulse. Da, 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 da. All right, um, and then the last one. But take one a day. Go all the way up to your 12th fret and back down. If I'm on an acoustic, I go up to the 12th fret with my pinky. If I'm on an electric, I go to the 12th fret with my first finger. But just make that your warm-up. 